you know, men tend to be like use humor, like human males mm -hmm. use humor. Yes. As a display. Yes. Is that somehow a display of the pathogen free mind? <laughs> no. <character>? No. <laughs> I, I really don't think so. Yeah. But yeah. So the thing is, this whole hypothesis that sexual displays are an indicator of being pathogen free has always struck me as not quite complete enough. In other words, a female doesn't particularly care whether you're pathogen free because your immune system is highly functional if your eyesight sucks. What she cares is that she gets a genome in which everything pretty well works. And so my guess would be that the hypothesis is wrong, that it includes cases in which a vulnerability to pathogens is something that the female wants to avoid, but really she wants to avoid anything that will get in the way of the well-being of her offspring. And so she's looking for an integrative measure that says effectively how successful are you in the habitat. Um, so that does raise the question of why males are so often funny and why females are so attuned to humor. And I will say I think this is changing in human beings in uh, recent years, that there has, there's a long tradition of female comics, but the degree to which um, women in our society are consciously funny rather than just consciously observers of humor has changed a lot, I think, in my lifetime. But I find it particularly telling that um, women actually rate humor very highly when they are discussing traits in uh, potential mates. The thing that makes for really high quality humor is the, the noticing of stuff that others are aware of but wouldn't think to put words to. So if you think about, you know, Jerry Seinfeld or some other well-known comic, the surfacing of certain truths that um, are easily recognized but that you've never heard said before is very, very funny. And so my guess would be that for um, young men in a traditional environment where success or failure functions according to whatever men have successful uh, have succeeded at or failed at um, that the uh, the ability to notice that which others can recognize once it's said but wouldn't think to have said out loud is an indicator really of a kind of um, ability to spot opportunity um, also there's something very interesting in the fact that um, I mean, if you've ever watched some hierarchical organization where there's some person, often a guy, at the very top of the organization, you know, the CEO of the company, and they can tell really lousy jokes, just low-quality jokes from the point of view of timing or anything, but it causes a lot of laughter. So to an extent... Uh, in a classic environment, a female who was um, noticing that a man was causing others to laugh would be able to detect two things. One, either that man is able to notice things that others aren't as capable of noticing and that that would be potentially a good bet for somebody who would find an opportunity in a marketplace or in a habitat or whatever, some opportunity that others had missed, or that a man has the kind of power that causes others to laugh at their jokes in order to ingratiate themselves. And either one is good from the point of view of picking a mate who is liable to be in a position to provide well for a family and protect them, things like that. 